Soccer in a snowy, eerie winter seems impossible, right? Not when you have Family First Sports Park. An eerie tradition among sports lovers since 1994, Family First is a haven for those who won't let Mother Nature stand in the way of their game. Um, I think it's fun to play soccer here. We come Monday, Thursday, Saturdays, and Sundays to play soccer all the time. It's great here. At Family First Sports Park, you can play soccer, basketball, and lacrosse, but it doesn't stop there. You can play flag football, volleyball, or even golf, all in the comfort of a well-lit, well-heated indoor facility. Located less than a half a mile from Splash Lagoon on Upper Peach, Family First sits on 70 acres of land. Athletes can use the indoor court and fields during the winter, but when the weather warms up, families can enjoy the outdoor basketball courts and soccer fields as well. According to their website, Family First Sports Park's mission is to provide events that create a positive impact on the community and its youth. I like how it's like the only indoor place around. We like live here. Basically. Yeah. We're here all the time. That's so yeah. true. I'm here for two hours on Thursday and Monday. Uh -huh. I'm here a lot. <laughs> two soccer fields, four basketball courts, a golf dome, batting cages, and a go-kart track. There's something for everyone here at Family First. We're called uh, Basketball to Sports Park. Uh, we've been operating now independently for about three years before we were kind of under the auspices of Family First, but now uh, Family First has went to a format of um, renting two different uh, athletic uh, genres, you know, soccer, basketball, uh, flag football, um, what have you, uh, possibly softball in the future, I've, I've heard. With all this joy, it is hard to imagine that the park has had its fair share of hardships. In 2010, Family First Sports Park was faced with a bit of a financial challenge. In its 16 years of operation, it had only managed to turn a profit once and carried a debt load of $7.8 million. Because of this, former owner Pedro Arguez made the decision to sell the facility, which is now owned and operated by Paul Lankarik and Leanne Seifer. Pedro Arguez is now the owner and operator of Erie Premier Sports, a much smaller but similar facility on West 26th Street in Mill Creek. Family First has built a legacy over the years. At one time, the facility was home to 2.5 million athletes from all over the United States. It is unclear at this time whether Family First will bounce back under new ownership or if new owners will soon take over the facility. Regardless, Family First Sports Park has been, and will continue to be, a home for great memories. For PSB-TV News, I am Ryan Reed.